The crowd is fired up. Let the chirps begin. He's Ray. I'm James, ready to bring you all the action. Centers are lined up. Official ready to drop the puck. The Canadians take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Takes it right in the chest. Puts it up wow. front. Scores! What a shot! The Canadians couldn't ask for a better start tonight, Ray. They barely got the anthem singer off the ice, and this thing's in the net. What a start. Nice job tying up his opponent. And the puck leaves the zone. Here's a short pass to Crosby. The Canadians have it now. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Quick pass to Rust. And look at this, a three on one. Great read by the keeper to poke it away. Big save by the goaltender once again. Yeah, he's pretty good positioning here, James. He makes the two stops back to back. Scooped up along the wall by Gallagher. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Receives the pass. Gets a piece of it with the blocker. Montreal's gained possession along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Gallagher. Here's a chance, a two on one. Off the glove and the puck skips away. Quick feed to Dumoulin. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. Moved in front and they can't convert to the play. Great reflexes, another save. But he came out and challenged him, good save. It's a two on oh. Scores! Wow, what a goal! Nice hands, great finish. Little short break and it's in the net. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Canadians have all the momentum right now, leading by two. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Knocked away. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Feeds it to Malkin. Pittsburgh's got it along the wall. Here he is on the backhand, and the lane's clogged up blocking that. Nice poke check. Drouet has got it along the boards. The Penguins have it against the wall. Montreal's got it in their own zone. Angles it over to Armia. And we've got a two on one. Loses his balance on the play. Uses the force on that hit. Puck scooped up by Aston Reese. Sends it across, and he makes the save. Nice pass. Smart defensive play there. CeCe's caught up with the hook, and the official saw it. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. The Canadians have been handed two minutes for hooking. Even though he's going to argue this, I mean, there's nothing to argue about. His stick gets across the player's midsection. It's a penalty. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. Montreal's moving it into the offensive end. Right in the slot, and they come up empty-handed. Moves it to Evans. Couldn't make that one happen. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Anderson's gaining momentum. Just wide. The Penguins gain control of the puck against the wall. Gains the zone from the right side. Saves it over. Oh, denies it with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. And that's a great read to pick off the pass. And now he tries to get it across to Anderson. Evans plays the puck. Tatars out of the box. He owes a lot of credit to that penalty killing unit. Can't connect. All a good power play is about 20%, James. That one falls in the other 80%. They don't get it done. The power play expires. And he comes up with it. One of the things he was working on is trying to control where the puck goes after he stops it. The corner is a pretty safe place. Excellent stick work on the play. Here's a short pass to Rust. Unable to reach that one. Slides the puck over. Montreal's across the blue line. Here's a shot. Oh, so close. Close enough that that's just a couple inches away from being a goal. Great defensive effort with the stick. 
Montreal's looking to break out. Oh, squeezes his way through. Yeah, he didn't want to give up the puck yet, James. And he denied that opportunity. Denies him again. Montreal's on the attack. Whoa. He scores. That's three, Ray. Yeah, just they haven't taken their foot off the gas pedal at all here. Once they got that first one, they kept pushing away. Now they've got three. Late goings of this period. Montreal's been showing relentless pressure lately, now up by three. Tatar's got it in the offensive zone. Turns it aside. Picked up along the wall by Armia. And another stop. Puck picked up by Latang. They were on their heels, forcing an icing, and they're not going to get much of a break on this either. No, well, you get tired, you make a bad pass, or you just panic and clear it down the ice. Now you got to try and win a draw and get it safely out of the zone so you can change. Puck grabbed by Kulak. He was locked in there. We got a penalty coming up here as the officials blow the play dead. Army is called for tripping. He's off to the box. Played with fire, he got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the puck, and sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. Montreal's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Petrie swooping in on the attack. What a save! He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. Quick pass to Malkin. Well, there's the end of the first period of play. A blowout on the ice. But I'll tell you what, from this broadcast booth vantage point, I'm still having fun. I know Ferraro's still having a good time down at ice level as well. Are you looking to impress at your next group of men? Then rent out one of our luxury boxes with great views, waiter service, and great team merchandise. Your time is down. All right. I think my partner in crime, Ray Ferraro, is rested and refreshed along with the teams. We're ready to get things underway. Montreal's shorthanded unit gets off to a good start. They win the draw and take early possession. That's broken up in the neutral zone. Stays with it. Redirected. Puts it in. And it's a shorthanded goal. Oh, this is a really devastating strike to give up. You're on the power play. You think you're going to get a goal, and now all of a sudden, You've got to come up with another one just to erase that. The Canadians have generated a lot of pucks on net and have turned more than a few of those shots into goals. And now it's grabbed by Rust. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Here comes the sentence. Looks like tripping the call. Sometimes they're lazy, sometimes they're just bad luck. Pittsburgh's got a small window with a five on three. You're on the power play for a reason. You screwed up, you gave up a shorthanded goal earlier. That's the way it is. Now get back to work. Sends the pass over. Taken down and the officials caught it. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Now uh, you react, you go to get the puck and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. The Canadians will have a little time left here with this four on three. Not a very good penalty to take. You go from five on three down to the four on three. Still a very dangerous opportunity for me. With only three penalty killers on the edge, you should get a good shot. Disappointing power play effort as they serve up a shorthanded goal, but both teams down back to even strength. They're not going to be too thrilled when they get a look at the film on that power play. Ineffective and, maybe more importantly, they give up the shorthanded goal. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. That opportunity is rejected. Montreal's been the more aggressive team offensively, and they continue to lead here in the second. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. The Penguins will play it in their own end. Latang's hauled down, penalty on the way. There's the whistle, let's get the official decision. The Canadians are gonna serve two for tripping here. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's gonna have to go serve his minor penalty. Number six, Shea Weber, two minutes for tripping. The Canadians will play it from the defensive zone. That pass goes a little sideways. He's got a step on a breakaway! Oh, he didn't have enough gas to get the shot off. Oh, look at that, here we go, we got a penalty coming up right here. There's the whistle, penalty coming up. 
You call that a hatchet chop with that slash? I call that chopping broccoli right there, Jesus. <laughs> Very good reference. They'll play some three on three. Man, I wish we had this when I played, James. Three on three, it's like playing out in the back pond. All kinds of room. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. His reflexes on display tonight. The Canadians now have a short power play after the penalty expired. And it takes a shot. Too much congestion in front. It doesn't really matter that the power play didn't score. They've got such a nice lead. But I'll tell you, as a guy that made a living on the power play, I wanted to score every time I was out there. Gains the zone from the right. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. Montreal's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. And the officials are calling a delayed penalty here. It looks like a trip. Passes right to the front. Here comes the official's decision. The Penguins are going to be shorthanded because of a tripping call. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty box. Were you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. Montreal's got a chance to open it up on this four-on-three. Man, those four-on-three penalty killers have to be sharp. You don't have much help out there. Gives them nothing in front. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. Breaks up the play with a poke check. On the doorstep. Picked up along the boards by Tatar. Right in front of the net. Big save. Grabs the puck under pressure. A chance to clear. Grabbed along the board by Pedersen. And it's a quick pass to Jankowski. Can't connect. Here's a shot, and that one stopped. Pittsburgh's penalty killers get a hold of it. They move the puck out of harm's way. The Canadians have time for one last rush here on this power play. To the front! That goes off the twing. Big stop by the keeper. Getzel's now out of the box, and we are back to even strength. Well, the penalty killers can go back to the bench knowing they did their job. Score remains the same as it was when that penalty was taken. The Canadians have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. Taken by Toffoli. And that's stopped by the goaltender using his head this time. Slides the puck over to Rust. Couldn't find the intended target. Pass right in front! Off the crossbar! Pittsburgh's got to be wondering what they can do to get back to even in this game. There's another one off the post. Puck scooped up by Kulak. Wow, what a slippery play on that one. That's pretty sleek right there. There's not much room between the player and the wall. Taken along the wall by Toffoli. Crosby's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. And let's see what the call is. So often in a, in a shifty little play that you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick, and there's nothing you can do. The Penguins send their man advantage unit out once more. Well, this has been a real mixed bag for them. Some good, some bad. Here's another opportunity, though. And a solid job tying up his opponent. The Penguins go to work on offense. Stopped by the goaltender. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. And the parade to the penalty box will continue as play is called for yet another penalty. The Canadians are going to be shorthanded as they are called for tripping. Reaching for the puck, trying to be in position. You're just a little bit away, and then you get nabbed for tripping. Yeah, it's always tough to use the I got stuck Canadian excuse, right? It never works. Armion, two minutes for tripping. The Canadians move to the offensive zone. Pokes it away in his own end. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Denies him! Price has shown tremendous focus. He's got a great save percentage in this contest. And at the other end, his forwards are helping him out. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. McCann's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. What? Well, score! This seemed like an inevitability here. Once a delayed penalty arm goes up, it seems like the defending team just fell back on their heels. They didn't do anything really to slow down the opposition. This is neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. By number 19. Centering pass. Can't finish. Oh, Ray, and blown opportunity.
opportunity. It really is. I mean, the play is sitting right there. There's a scoring chance to be had. They just don't execute it. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. 51 seconds. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Looking to break out here on the power play. Scooped up along the wall by Crosby. They've got numbers. Here's the pass. He scores! That's surprising. So quickly they've scored two goals in just about a minute 20. We are not done yet here. Buckle up. Don't even think about leaving your seat. Yeah, they got their track shoes on now. Past the midway mark of the frame. James and Ray with you tonight. Pittsburgh's got to find a way to get a few more goals here as they still trail by a pair. Gains the zone. They've got numbers. Almost lost. The scores! And right back to answer. You have to be able to respond to moments that happen that aren't very favorable to you. They give up a goal, and they go get it right back. Montreal's widened the gap yet again tonight, Ray. How far can you widen the gap? Because they keep adding on to it. It seems like shift by shift. The Canadians gain possession along the wall. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Here he is in front, and they can't connect. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Montreal's regained possession of the puck. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Fails to find the open man. Tanev's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. That won't go as that goes off the side of the net. Let's see what the official says here. Tripping the call on the play. I don't necessarily think he's trying to trip him here, James, but he gets a stick into his feet. Down he goes. Pittsburgh's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Well, you can get a lot of power play goals in a game, and it can just suck the life out of your team if you don't get anything done. Not for them tonight. Another power play, James and another opportunity to pad the stats. Great positioning in the defensive end. On the deflection. The Canadians have possession shorthanded. That pass doesn't go. Puck picked up by Rust. Here he is in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Price gets on top of the puck, stopping the play. Now you can get some fresh guys on the ice, get yourself restarted. Crosby's got to be the lead dog here. I, there are times when a captain can be just one of the leadership group, but when you're down by this much, you've got to show the guys that the game can't end. You have to play hard still. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Denies him on the play. Picked up along the wall by Anderson. And the defenders come up with the puck. Rust's got it across the line. Takes a shot, and that one's turned away. The Canadians get their man back. We're back to even strength. There are times as penalty kill has looked like it's up on two wheels tonight, but they kill this last penalty off, and we go back to even strength. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. And the middle frame almost done. In period. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the boards. Montreal's got it in their own zone. Quick pass across to Kotkaniemi. with the stop. There's another stop. There's the horn ending period number two. Might almost be a mercy rule in some ways. Hey, hockey fans. Follow the team all season long on the radio for every minute of play-by-play -play action. Welcome to the online simulcast or on your smartphone. And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. That's his second. Their line has played really well, James. I like the way they've moved the puck. And finally, they're rewarded again. He's got a both. If you're the goalie here, you just want to move as quick as you can. Maybe it'll hit you, but it's so close to the net that passes on the tape and off the tape in a hurry. It's a three on one. In close, turns it away. Sharp reaction save. Oh, great read. Another stop by the goaltender. 
Really sharp, never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Montreal's looking to break out of their own end. Great defensive play to break it up. Sends a pass over. The Penguins gain control of it. Backhander in front, stopped by the goaltender. Smothered that in close chance. He scores! Jumps on the rebound and makes it count. Pittsburgh's got to be thinking more and more offense here now in the third. No reason to sit back. You're in a hole here. You need goals and you need lots of them. Attack. The Penguins win it. Puck grab by Latang. Can't catch up to the pass. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. And now it's grabbed by Kutkaniemi. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. The Canadians have built themselves up a comfortable lead here in this third period. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. What a steal in his own end. Quick pass to Malkin. Moves right to the middle. Here he is in close. Dismiss that chance. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Picked up along the boards by Malkin. And they can't convert to the play. Moves it quickly over to Petrie. And he moves it up to Anderson. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. Penalty coming up here as the play is stopped. The Penguins have been handed two for interference. The officials will let a little bit of interference go. Not that much. That's a pretty easy call. Jankowski's won it in their own end. Two minutes for interference. The Penguins take it across the blue line. Strong defensive effort. The Canadians gain control of the puck against the wall. Dished on over to Anderson. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Slides it across. There it is. There's the hat trick. That puck barely hit the back of the net, Jake. And his teammates are already up on their feet. Everybody enjoys watching a player get three. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Moves it up through the middle from the right. Tries to the crease. Stopped by the goaltender. Passes it to Rust. Now a quick pass to Gensel. And that pass goes awry. Backhander scores! You get one, you get hungry for a second one. Even if you're not a goal scorer, you get that early. Now you want to hunt for a second goal. Makes it a double on the play. Pittsburgh's back at center ice. They have a long way to go still here, though, Ray. Yeah, get your scorers out there, James. Don't worry about the defensive end of the ice. You need goals. Quick feed to Gensel. Oh, the officials were all over that trip. Quick whistle stops the play. The Canadians have been handed a two-minute penalty for tripping. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go serve his minor penalty. The Penguins once again send out their power play unit. Well, this has been a bag of chocolates, hasn't it, James? You don't know what you're getting from this power play. It's just been average. And that one's broken up. The Penguins have it in the offensive end. Scores! Oh, that was a beauty! That's just a minute between goals. Buckle up, everybody. We're not done yet. Pittsburgh's narrowed the gap here in the third, but still a long way to go, Red. Yeah, James, this is still way down the road to even this game up. But if you get one, maybe you get another. Maybe they get nervous. And now he angles it across to Gallagher. Centering pass! And he totally whiffs on that one. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. The Penguins gain possession in their own end. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Puts it to the front of the net, and that one's broken up. We got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front of the official's eyes. Can't get away with that. Stones him with the blocker. Taken by Zucker. And that's blocked. Here comes the call. The Canadians are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. Trying to get into position to get to the puck. He takes out the player's feet, and off to the box he'll go. Pittsburgh's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, in what's turned into a little bit of a power play fest, here's another one. Both teams have been effective on the power play, and apparently neither had a penalty-killing meeting this morning. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Weber. The Canadians are on the attack. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Puck scooped up by Armia. 
Moves it to Rust. Pittsburgh's got the puck in the defensive end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Takes the feed. Too much congestion blocks the shot. The Canadians have been the aggressor offensively tonight as they continue to lead in the third. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Couldn't connect on that pass. The man advantage expires and a tip of the cap to the penalty killers who come up big. Sometimes the power play is more critical than others. And the puck is in, but it's being waved off immediately here. Yeah, I like when all goals count, but I, I think this has to be waved off. This is goalie interference. Matheson's reaction immediately is that he knows he scored, but he turns because he's wondering if there's interference. And he's not getting any help from the official either. Montreal's been the better team offensively tonight. A lot of scoring chances, and they lead it late in this third period. Now he takes it over the line. Montreal's got the puck against the half wall. And a beautiful stop by the glove. Tanev's moving it ahead. Tripped up on the play. Delayed penalty coming up. Play is... And here's the official call. Pretty cut and dry with a tripping call here. Yeah, but James, every player argues the tripping call because you feel like your stick was in the right place and the other guy stepped on it. Never your fault. And it looked like there was some late moment lobbying there and it didn't yeah, work. Yeah, it doesn't work. No, no. Number 26, Jeff Petrie. Two minutes for tripping. Puck picked up by Edmondson. Grabbed along the board by Rust. The Penguins get a hold of the puck. And now it's grabbed by Gensel. Here's a short pass. Scores! And the power play strikes again. James, they've been working on this in practice for the last little while. It's come through big for them tonight. Pittsburgh's third period deficit suddenly doesn't seem so insurmountable now. You can almost see the difference in the bench and the body language. They know they've got a chance. By number 87. The Canadians will play the puck from behind the net. And they fail the no-tape to take. Puck grab by Toffoli. The, the Canadians have it now. Less than 60 seconds left here in the final frame. Quick pass to Dumoulin. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Along the half wall with the puck. Dumoulin's taking it from his own end. And there's a power play opportunity coming up here. Let's see what the officials say. And tripping looks to be the call, Ray. Really a frustrating penalty to take because you're just fishing for the puck. You get your stick in the wrong spot, the guy goes down, and you're toast every time. Shot! He tips it! Montreal's got possession while under man. Sherratt's got it in the defensive end. Pittsburgh's ready to go on the attack. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. Gets it out of his own end. Slides it across to Matheson. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. And here comes the judgment from the official. We got a minor penalty coming up For here sure, on this one. sure, James. I mean, this call was going to be made. You could see the play develop, and now they're going to have to serve two minutes. Man advantage unit steps inside the face-off circle with another golden opportunity in this critical time of the game. The Canadians move the puck in the defensive zone. And look at this, it's a pair in all alone. Stops it on the breakaway. Wow, that's a sharp stop. Pressure filled time here in the third period. They tie it up, they tie it up. While well, right beside me, their bench just sprung to their feet. The guys are banging their sticks on the board. They are so happy. I think they all thought the game was gone. That's why you play till the last second ticks off the clock. In the dying seconds, they tie this game up. The setters will glide into the dot.
Ray and I will take a quick breather with OT coming up next. Overtime is set to get underway. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Cebulski. Time to boogie. The Penguins start the period off on the right note, winning the draw, and their man advantage unit gets going. Moves it quickly over to Crosby. Great hand eye on the tip. Poked away. Taken along the wall by Malkin. Gensel's able. Game on a stick. He scores! There it is! There it is! The overtime winner! Pittsburgh's feeling much better about themselves as they come away with the OT win. Well, they really pushed after it after nothing settled in regulation. They get the winner here in extra time. Great vibe in the arena, and this place is picking up again as they return to the ice. Uh, what a fun night for everybody involved. They get to cheer their team to victory, and now they are saluted by the players. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Cebulski. Thanks for joining us tonight.